Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Simon from Scar Illustration and I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to talk about art feedback or critiques, how to effectively use the info to your best advantage. So there's a bit of a backstory with this particular painting. I actually finished it back in 2014 for a competition. And at the time, I remember being really happy with the final result. And I sent it off to the competition, and it, it didn't place. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I then went to an art convention to get some feedback and advice on, on this painting and others. And everyone I showed it to, every pro artist, every art director, suggested some changes, and, but a lot of them said the same things about the painting, and most of that feedback was negative. So I figured, well, they obviously know what they're talking about, they're further along in their art careers, uh, so I, I just shelved the painting and, and figured the style was not going to work for me. And since that time, I went ahead and pursued other styles. But in the back of my mind, I always really liked this painting. And despite what everyone else was telling me. Recently I started looking at a number of artists that have a heavily textured or traditional looking style. These are digital artists. And I really admired their work, I really liked the work. And I immediately thought about this painting. And over a period of a couple of months, I decided that I would go back and revamp it. So as you can see, one of the things that I decided to revamp on this was the flag. This is actually one of the things that came up in the, the feedback from that convention. So I decided to tidy up the flag and then fix the emblem on the flag because it was too small and too indistinct. And then a bit, then decided to fix the face of the bat creature as the, I felt the perspective was slightly off. Uh, the nose, the nostril, the placing of the nostrils looked weird. The eyes weren't quite in the right place. And, you know, after I flipped the painting a number of times, uh, I think we got to, we got to something that looks far more reasonable. After I've done that, uh, as you can see, started messing around with the figure because the spacing between the character and the creature looks off and that's another thing that came up in in some of those critiques which I agreed with and so that required me to on this painting move the arm and reduce the size of the character slightly so he's set back a bit from the character so this adequate spacing between him and the character otherwise it looks like he's growing out of the creature which is weird one of the other things that came up was the space under the rib cage and the abs area and that was described to me as being too vacuous or it too concave whereas I see their point I don't necessarily agree with it and so I always liked that element of the anatomy, so I decided to keep it. As you can see, I'm still messing around with the, the creature, just bouncing around all over the painting, as I tend to do that. I work on one section and then move on to another section and and then notice something else about the, one of the sections I've just worked on so I go back to it. Uh, I never 
usually work on one section and complete it and then move on to the next because paintings to me are they're holistic it's uh it's the whole thing it's not just you know different bits put together they all have to work together so that's the reasoning behind that Yeah, still fixing the arm there. I was having a little bit of trouble with the anatomy, getting the anatomy to look correct. But I think uh, I managed to come up with something that's convincing. The shoulder seemed a little too far out in comparison to the other in three-quarter view perspective. And then the sword was too high, so I fixed that as well. I think at this point, um, I still had the shoulder too far out. And then I moved the shoulder pad over a bit. So following on from this, I am going to uh, add some more definition to the sky in the background. As you can see, I'm working on that now. The background mount got rid of one of the mountains because it just seemed a bit superfluous. It wasn't really working as a shape. Add a bit more definition to the, the rocks on the mountain there. And moving on from there, I will then move into the sky. This needed a bit more definition. This seemed a bit fuzzy to me um, and not, not terribly believable. It looked, looked unfinished. So I wanted the light to be a bit more interesting. It seemed a bit flat. As you can see, I'm now moving on to the castle. That area seemed also seemed unfinished. And the actual structure of the castle, again, was fuzzy and not believable to me. Added some light, some light to the uh, top of the mountains, the hilltop there. Fixed the structure, something that was a, quite a bit more believable more solid looking and then after this I'll, I'll fix the uh, the bird like creatures or the bat like creatures in the background there so I guess what I, I want to say when I'm wrapping up on on this particular video getting feedback and advice in your work is so important especially in the early stages of artistic development but the drawback of getting feedback and advice is that it almost always comes with that person's personal preferences, bias, and taste. So what I would do, or what I do when I get I ask for feedback, is I'll listen to the advice, I make the appropriate changes to my work where applicable, but I also keep in mind the type of work that that artist creates, or, or in the case of an art director, what, what type of work they commission. And don't forget to stay true to your artistic vision of how you want your work to look and the type of work that you ultimately want to create, despite what other people have to say. So you don't go down a rabbit hole and waste years climbing out, like I have. I hope this was helpful. And please consider liking this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll let you watch the rest of this video and uh, have a great day and keep on painting. Cheers. <laughs>